Okay, gay shrink, hopefully as a pleasure to your ears, here's the badass A plus vlog setup minus the last bit of motor noise, including a comparison between the DJI Flexi mic and the Rode Video mic ME. Now this is the original setup using the Rode Video mic ME. If you're interested in how to build this, check out the link in the top right hand corner. The mic that we're using is the FM15 Flexi mic from DJI. It's pretty much the smallest combination of a mic capsule, a shock mount and a 3.5mm 3-pole jack you will find anywhere. Also, it's flexible. The micro dead cat we're using for wind protection is this Etiteach EWS003. Mic goes right in here, then tighten the dead cat via this strap. So it looks like this. What we want to achieve is a constant bend of about 45 degrees and here's how we're gonna do it. The key part is one of those tiny bendable wires that comes with about every cable you order. Mic check goes through the strap right here and now let's use the strap to create the 45 degree bend. And this looks about right. So right here we need to fixate the strap to the microphone. Tiny bendable wire goes through here, comes around like this and I'll fixate it in place by tightening the bendy wire around the microphone. And really make sure it's a tight fit. Looks good so far. To tidy things up, bring around the strap like this and fixate it with the ends of the bendy wire. So it looks a little something like this. Next part, Rode SC4 audio adapter cable. It adapts a 3.5mm 3-pole female to a 3.5mm 4-pole male. This is where you plug in the mic and this end plugs into the phone. Moving on to one of my favorite parts of all time, this tiny plastic cable clamp with adhesive tape on its back. Place it onto the power bank right here just like this, because this is where the mic goes. Place the female end of the road adapter cable inside the cable clamp, rotate the mic until it's perpendicular to the power bank and fix it in place. And this is how this should look. Now here's a difference compared to the original setup. With this one the power bank has to sit all the way up here. So the dead cat doesn't show up on screen even when using a wide angle lens. Time to plug in the mic, to put on the smartphone grip and yes you can still charge the phone while using the mic and also Make sure it sits all the way down like this, so it never bumps into the power bank or the phone. And now we're pretty much good to go, so let's do some audio testing. Quick audio comparison for voice recording. This is me talking into the Rode Video Mic ME from about selfie distance, using my regular volume voice. It's connected to my Galaxy S8 Plus smartphone, which itself is connected to my Feiyotech G6 Plus gimbal. The Rode Puffin that I'm using is excellent for wind protection. Now you should be able to pick one of those up, brand new, for around about 50 to 60 bucks. But now let's check out what the DJI Flexi mic can deliver. Now this is what you're getting from the DJI Flexi mic, once again spoken into from about selfie distance, using my regular volume voice. It's again connected to my Galaxy S8 Plus smartphone, this time via the Rode SC4 adapter cable. Smartphone again rests on the Fatech G6 Plus gimbal. The dead cat that I'm using is the Etiteach EWS003. It's pretty good considering it's so small, but it's not as good as the Rode Puffin when it comes to wind protection. Then again, you should be able to pick one of those mics up for around about 10 bucks. So there's quite a difference in price, but not that much difference in audio quality, if you're asking me. Alright Gay Shrink, and everybody else of course, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again soon.